Hi, welcome back everybody. This is video number five in uh, how to set up the car in a garage and save those settings in player preferences so as you can use them in your game, okay? Quick revision here. Uh, we've done this tire screen. We've done the front grip, rear grip, and the width of the tires. And you can see we can change the width of our tires, okay, in the previous videos. Uh, now we're on suspension. And in the, in the last video, we did suspension height. So you can see the suspension moving up and down. Right, and I'm going to put it on max for this, okay? And then here we've got, today we're doing the spring, okay? The strength of the spring, okay? Now, visually you should be able to see that spring's quite stiff. And here if we lower the value, yeah, it, the spring's obviously a lot softer, right? So it's basically the strength of the spring, yeah, that we're dealing with, okay? Right. So, how do we do that? Well... Quite simply what we do is we create two sliders, as we did before in the previous video, create, create two more sliders and name them spring. So let's have a look at the values of our spring. Well here I've put a minimum value of a thousand and a maximum of fifty thousand, alright? Okay, you can put any numbers you want in there. Um, okay, so here and I've done the same values for same values for the rear spring, right? A thousand and fifty thousand and I've set the mid value at this, okay, alright? Great. So <coughs> next thing we need to do is uh, we need to show you how, uh, let's have a look in our car, what exactly, which value it is we're changing. Well, if you look at the wheel hubs, uh, you hear where the value we're dealing with is this one, suspension spring. So we're going to change the strength of this, all right, okay, suspension spring. And then after that, obviously, we've got the damper, and we're going to do that in the next video. Okay, good. So we're changing this value here. Well, how do we do that? Well, as before, we're going to go to our car manager, and we're going to deal with this script, the car setup script here okay the spring is slightly different to the other things because at the start what we need to do is we actually need to declare a joint spring all right this is really important so you say joint spring and then just call it car i've called one car car spring all right call it whatever you want all right but it's basically the spring all right of the vehicle so once you've done that very important so if you screenshot that what i've done here is for the spring as I did for everything else so far the grip and the suspension I've created a float and also public slider I've done the same for the rear spring okay and as you can see over here they correlate to these sliders okay front rear okay great so how do we do that now let's have a look at this script again Okay, as before, what I've done here is I've grabbed the, the value from player prefs. Okay, and I've basically set the the spring value of the slider, the slider value to whichever value I'm drawing from player prefs. And if it's a first install, I've basically said, okay, it can't be zero. It's, it's going to start off as a first install at this one, kind of halfway, 25,500, okay. And then, I've, and then I've said, okay, well, let's actually change this value in on the vehicle. So I'm using value change check front spring. The rear is exactly the same. You can screenshot that, screenshot that. Okay. And as before, I've put some listeners to listen for changes. Same as the previous videos. And one for the front slider, one for the rear slider. Okay, so they'll listen for changes. Now, let's have a look at this script because this is slightly different. Remember that at the top, what we did, yeah, is uh, we, we declared this joint spring, yeah, called car spring. So down here... Basically, we're going to say, okay, the listener has 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 uh, has found that the value in the slider has changed, and therefore it's run this function, right? So there's a change in the value of the slider. Okay, the player wants to change the spring value. So how does it do that? Well, first of all, it says, okay, well, spring front now is equal to the new value of the slider, and so what we're going to do is we're going to declare car spring. Car spring is the this one at the top, this joint spring car, we're going to de declare this joint spring equal to the wheel front left suspension spring. 
and then we're going to say curl spring dot spring the spring of that is equal to spring front which is the nail the value from this slider and then the wheel front left spring suspension spring is equal to car spring okay so we basically got the value changed it and set it and we've done that for both the left and the right again you if you wanted to set these up independently you could do you could just call you could just you could just call uh, set up a new uh, player prefs for you know spring front left spring front right okay all right but in our game we've just got the spring set the same value um, okay for the front of left and right good have that makes sense now the the rear one the rear one is the same so you could do a screenshot of that same thing again the listeners found of changing the value okay we've grabbed that value we've set we've set the spring to that new value and we've saved it the new value in player prefs for when we need it next time okay and that's all there is to it okay just again for the ones new to these videos quick thing about the listener I like to use listeners okay um, because they are uh, it's quite a simple piece of code and basically all it does is wait for there to be a change uh, in a value of something okay and in this case I'm asking it to listen on this spring front slider and if it senses a change in that in that front slider it will run this function okay good that's all there is to it so there's your f there's for screenshot purposes good okay so let's see if that works all right so remember what we're looking for is we're looking to change the value uh, in here in our wheel hubs all right so let's just check what's going on here so we look at the front first because as you know we're setting the front left and right to the same value and it starts off at 28.3 right okay so set our sp suspension here let's check our spring now can we see a change over here let's have a look all right, is that changing? Yes, that's working down to a thousand, up to fifty thousand. All right, as determined by a slider. So the front spring's working, and again we check the rear spring. Is that working? Okay, we're looking at this value again. All right, so I'm going to change this. Yep, thousand up to fifty thousand, and obviously it's working on our on our sliders. Okay, uh, here that you can see. It's always good to check this stuff. I know I know it takes I know it takes time, but it's always good to check yeah that's working and front spring and that's all there is to it okay so in the next video we're going to do the damper and then last of all we're going to do the position all right so thanks very much for watching please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video and i hope you learned something bye bye